Hey there, this is Lori from Rideshare Silver doing another quick video to show you how to use the Uber Passenger app. So let's get right to it. The first thing you need to do is download the Uber app and the quickest, easiest way to do it is to go into the description listed below. There's a link that you click on. It'll take you directly to Uber with a ride credit already embedded in the link so you don't have to enter any promo codes and sign up that way. That's the fastest way or you can go to the Play Store here look for the uber app download it and this is what it will look like right next to the play store that will will be what the uber um, app will look like on your phone so let's go right in okay first thing you need to go do is up on the upper left hand corner is the three lines that we call the hamburger you tap on there go into payments you need to add a payment method credit card paypal account or one of these other methods to pay because uh, uber does not take cash and then once you've entered your payment method, you go down to add promo gift code. And this is where you would enter the promo code B7BQB3 4TUE. So that would be the uh, the code that would give you $15 off of your first ride on Uber. Now things might change throughout around the country, but it's pretty universal. I think I can I can safely say you you're going to get your free ride up to $15 for your first ride. So I would hit add, but I already have it. They won't let me. So let's uh, pretend I did and back out here. And uh, so you are all ready to go to order your first ride. As you can see on the screen, you see all the little drivers there and uh, they will post the eight closest drivers on the screen to you. That's normally what they do. So you're gonna tap where to. Now it is going to uh, default to your location on your GPS. So this is where I am on my location. But if you need to enter your exact address, um, um, I'm just gonna say a local restaurant here, or enter, you know, data enter your, ad your address right there. Um, that's what you can do or what you can also do is you can set a pin you just go and set a pin to wherever you want to be so let's uh, go to there's Pizza Hut let's go right over there Pizza Hut okay same thing for setting your destination you click where to you can as you can look down at the bottom you can set location on the map by tapping that or you can data entry the address but I would just go set location because that's pretty easy to do so I'm just gonna go over to Clark College all right, so I'm done. So now it says, okay, great. This is where we're gonna pick you up. This is where we're gonna take you. As you can see up next to the pickup address, there's six minutes. That means that is how close or how long it would take your driver to get there if you were to order the ride right now. Um, and as you can see down at the bottom, that $15 promo has been applied um, and you'll see that. Um, you'll also see over to the bottom right, uh, next to promo on the right hand side, you can have one to four people on this ride um, so one to four people can come along for the ride uh, and here is where you're going to choose the type of vehicle you are going to uh, be picked up in uber x is the most standard one four-door vehicles uh, xl is a larger vehicle that can uh, seat up to six people six passengers and over here we have select which is uh, considered the higher end car you know um, Uber Black, the you know, an expensive vehicle if you want to go a little bit, you know, in style. So that is what you would choose. So um, here we go. We're just going to do Uber X. And normally I would say request Uber X, but uh, I'm not because they are going to come get me and I really don't want them to. I want them to come get you once you uh, do this. Over next to request Uber X, you can see the little car with the time with the clock on it if you tap that you can actually schedule rides in advance so if you tap the day Tuesday June 2nd that's today you can go out and let's say oh I want to get picked up on the 27th and say okay and then you can set your time in 15 minute increments here on the clock so I'm just gonna say 2:30, uh, and you can decide a.m. or p.m. by clicking up toggling a.m. or p.m. up here on the top so there we're gonna do that and then you just say set pickup window that's how you schedule a ride in advance um, so uh, it looks like the promo code does not apply to, to scheduled rides. I just saw that happen, so good to know. Um, anyways, that is how you do it. Um, when you do hit, uh, hit schedule the ride, or you do, it, actually, let's unschedule. I want to take that off of there. No, I don't want to schedule. 
Okay. No, we're going to back out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I do not want to cancel. I do not want to schedule it. So I'm going to cancel it right there. So I have no upcoming rides. So let's just say we had gone through, we had scheduled the ride. Um, as soon as that driver starts coming towards you um, and, and they've engaged and their, their car has been chosen to pick you up, you're going to learn... Uh, you're going to learn a few things. You're going to see the driver's name and they're a picture of them. You're going to see a picture of their vehicle um, and you're going to know what the license plate is. They in turn are going to get your information, your name, and if you've done a picture then they'll get that. Um, now as soon as they arrive to your location, Uber will ping you and say, hey your driver's here, come down. You have just a minute or two before Uber will start charging you for your time, for the driver's time waiting for you. Um, so get out as quickly as you can, save yourself a little bit of money, it's better for you to be ready. And it's a much better um, ride for everybody. Um, you can get in the front and in the, or in the back, wherever you're more comfortable, the driver will take you where you're going. There's no cash exchange, everything is done in the app, everything is done with your credit card, unless you wanna give a cash tip at the end. And at the very end, it's gonna ask you to rate your driver, and I suggest always giving a five star to the driver because if they get a four, 0.6 star uh, rating or below they cannot drive for uber so you might think a four star is great but it's really not it really can hurt uh, good drivers in the end so so unless there's a real problem uh, give your driver a, a good rating and um, but if there is a problem absolutely address it here because you can actually rate the driver and make a comment and if there's something that's really really bad uh, uber will probably contact you and say wow what really happened here because they really want to make sure that everybody is safe and protected so i really hope this was helpful um so go ahead and tap the link down on the bottom save yourself a few steps get that free 15 dollars ride credit and um, i hope to see you all out on the road